The first on this list is therapy and why? Because mental health is king and when it comes to self-improvement or when you're investing in yourself, you, you fix your brain, everything else becomes less hard. I mean, they're still hard, but it's less hard. You want to become a software engineer, then fix your mentality, your mindset then learning will become a lot easier any of your goals who in the journey and along with the struggles in that journey will get a little bit more bearable as long as you have the mental tools to deal with these struggles one of my regrets is not going to therapy sooner because if i did i I would have saved a lot of people and myself from a lot of heartaches. Coming from someone that had, so that had you know, uh, mental illness. So I've suffered from mental illness and still currently suffering from mental illness. I just managed to control it through the help with therapy. I really believe that therapy is very helpful. If you are wondering what my condition is. It is called BPD or Borderline Personality Disorder. The reason therapy is at the top of this list is because in this day and age where every day we are bombarded with advertisement, buzz, social media, notifications, just to put it simply, it has became it has it has become so hard for us to have some stillness in our lives more and more people are being negative uh, negatively affected by this and you know being overloaded with dopamine every day it affects our mental health negatively it it has been shown in in researches and you know a lot of people you can just find on youtube that that would say they would say that dopamine is not good for you i mean too much dopamine is not good for you but you know our our world today is filled with dopamine and it stacks so yeah get yourself checked out and if you feel like you're carrying the world on your shoulders please talk to someone you know anyone your friend family member someone just take off some weight off your chest as for me that is therapy i never knew that i had bpd before entering the doctor's office but thanks to therapy i learned so much about myself and therapy had gave me tools to deal with the struggles of having bpd you know i've learned a lot about my patterns my behaviors and so on and you know uh, because of therapy i can now distinguish whether i have these impulses or whether this behavior is bad or not and so you know i wouldn't commit <laughs> to a bad decision therapy has helped me immensely and i highly suggest you go to therapy yourself even if you think that you're not suffering from anything because that's how I first went oh, that was my attitude when I first came into therapy I thought that I was just you know stressed or I was just feeling depressed but you know it's my last day of therapy and you know I can congratulate myself and to those people who are watching who have graduated from therapy as well it's a continuous process it never ends and you know uh, hopefully I could I wouldn't meet my therapist in that same office again, but you know, maybe I could meet my therapist but in some other occasion, not in her office. With that being said, let's go to the second one and the second investment that would be very helpful for you would be books or knowledge, you know. And it's like anything that you want to learn today it could be found in books you want to get rich there's a book for it you want to learn how to build furniture there's a book for it you want to have a better skill at cooking there's a book for that and you know not only books but you know invest time in watching people on youtube that actually you know offer some depth 
in this world where we communicate to the to our most shallow selves at least there are some youtubers out there that would give you knowledge or they would share their experience just like me i'm doing the same because they've inspired me to do so and yeah i've li i'll link those youtubers below and hopefully it will help you out as for the books here are the books i recommend hard times great strong men by stefan arnio i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right uh, can't hurt me by david goggins i love that book i listen to his voice while i'm running <laughs> who's gonna carry the boats <laughs> anyway the way of the superior man by david data the subtle art of not giving an f word is by mark manson and atomic habits by james clear so i wouldn't go into details what what those books are <laughs> i think it's like giving you a spoiler you can just read that some some details about it in amazon or audible anyway there are more books to come or maybe i'll do a book review someday because you know i've been reading a lot of books lately and yeah i would like to touch on that topic as well anything you want to learn there's a book for it as for the people i follow yeah they're in the description below and the third investment would be a gym membership You might not need a gym membership to get a good sweat on but I bought a year of gym membership also for the social aspect of it. I met some wonderful people at the gym and it is a place where I can get ideas as well talking to different people from different walks of life they will give you a lot of ideas especially when you're in the locker room and this guy's a lawyer this guy's an engineer this guy's a doctor then you just ask and talk about your day and how their day is and you get a lot of ideas a lot of perspective that's why I joined the gym and the feeling of belongingness in the gym is really a boost of you know your morale i've also been boxing for a couple of months now and my body feels very light compared to before because i have a sedentary lifestyle as a software engineer you know so having a cardiovascular exercise is good for health in general and why I went to into boxing and MMA is because, you know, someday I might throw a punch for real someday and hoping it won't go to that. But, you know, the world is uncertain. There is a lot of things going on. Tough times are coming and having a way to defend yourself and your loved ones, you know, it makes me comfortable, you know. But yeah, so get some training in MMA and and boxing or any form of martial arts uh it will help you immensely not only on the physical benefits of it but because it will make you a lot sharper in your head and the fourth investment would be skincare or hygiene you may want to skip this but <laughs> to be honest taking care of my skin has increase my confidence so much maybe you've been gifted a uh, smooth skin from <laughs> since birth but i for one um i was riddled with pimples and it really it really damaged my confidence you know it's like i can't even face someone without thinking that oh god this guy might or this girl might think i'm so ugly because i have pus coming out of my face when I was a teenager, I was more pimple than f a person, you know, like it's like my face is more pimple than a face. <laughs> but, you know, having a smoother skin compared to when I was a teenager, my interactions had become more friendly, I become more sociable, I feel confident walking up to a woman and asking for her name and starting a conversation. Uh, so I'm not just generally talking about skincare but hygiene in general so that's why I spent you know a substantial amount on skincare, most moisturizers, lotions, uh, a good uh, a good deodorant. Uh, I'm not I'm not sponsored but I use uh, Old Spice and you know m my woman my lady you know really likes the smell of it. 
and yeah she she gets turned on by the smell of it because it smells so good especially the Christmas edition where you smell like Christmas every day you yeah, know not a bad deal it's a good deal so the money spent on those products are justify the cost of the confident confidence boost as for the last one I guess this is the fifth one and and the last one would be a journal get a journal <clears throat> having to express yourself with words without judgment of others is a blessing it is a way to dump your emotions without being judged the pages are a safe space a safe space for you to express what you're feeling inside especially when you don't have a you don't have someone to talk to you know i do believe this is a self in investment because aside from the money for, <laughs> for buying a journal and you know the pen this also takes time not just once but it's because you have to write on your journal every day so you gotta invest time or you know allocate at a time on your day every day to write on it and think about it like you write about the most positive things on your journal it will it will shift your mood to for the better so the way to optimize your journal is to actually have a gratitude journal just write things that you are grateful for every day and yeah that will help with your mood you know it will help with how you interact with others because your mood is now light and you're joyful and then let's visit this stoic philosophy as well where stoics are grateful for even the smallest things and if you could be that and you write it on your journal I i'm saying this because there's there are actual people who are saying that nah, everything sucks and nothing is going my way well the world isn't really designed to go your way you gotta make it go your way and so having a journal writing it down you know uh, there's always to be thankful for and for the stoics it's like the sun you know uh, the sunlight on their face the clothes in their back the roof over their head the fact that you can watch a youtube video is a blessing itself you know uh you know just another day to be alive is something to be grateful for and that's what i get from the stoic and the stoics and i try to incorporate that with my journal in my gratitude journal and that's the way i optimize my journal to make my you know mood great every day even in the worst times when <laughs> i'm feeling down i just write things that i'm really grateful for anyway it is this is more on the fact that you must cultivate an attitude of being grateful not actually the journal but the journal really helps to reinforce the habit of being grateful and that's it and if you like this video you know give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want and see you on the next one